Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back. If this is not your first time here, my name is April. This is Planning with April and I am going to show you, let me just go here. So last week I had filmed, or last weekend I had filmed my week setup. And I was talking about, you know, trying to figure out how to make a planner work for you after you've made the purchase and you've lived in it for a while, rather than wasting it, putting it back in your closet and never using it again, right? Because that's a real thing. That's a, that's a completely real thing. We feel guilty about it because we thought it was going to be perfect and then we, we got it and realized it's not quite so perfect. So how do we either repurpose, reuse, or revamp a current planner that we have? So one of you had asked how to you how to possibly use the weeks to track a bunch of different things from medication to blood pressure to appointments for you know your parents or your children or even your spouse or yourself the weeks are not very big right and this is how i have been lining it out is i have been going in here making this like a notes page this is a column where you can keep track of things, but what I haven't shown you and what I've never used in my weeks are all the blank pages in the back. So you get done with the months, or excuse me, done with the weeks, and you have a notes section. And it's pretty bulky, like there's quite a few pages. There's not 52, so you wouldn't have, an, or there's not 365, so there's not enough to do dailies, but what I was gonna show you is if you take this, and we'll just use the week that's in here, right? Take your ruler, and if you go, it's already lined out too, so it's super, super easy. Super duper easy. And I'm just using my brown Klenna. I am gonna go here, and then I'm gonna go here. So, when we look at this, we can still split it up into columns, right? We can go, we could even do four like the month has and then three over here if you have something bigger. So if we do the three columns here, or four, sorry, four columns. There's one, there's two, there's three, and then four. And you have four things that you need to track. Maybe it's five because this one already has a line on it too. So let's do five. So we've got BP in the morning, BP at night. So we have two if you need to track, you know, morning and, and night. We have medications, what time you last took, you know, this medication, this medication, this medication. Um, I know when uh, I've done tracking before, you know, bowel movement was important to track, so you can track that as well. And then over here, you've got a place for some notes, not very many, not very many notes, right? Here's my idea. If you get a call from the cardiologist or from, you know, your nutritionalist, you could go over here. These pages are numbered. So you could go over here and you could put down here um, nutrition, page two, right? And then you pop back over here, go to page two, and here are your nutrition notes. These are the notes that the nutritionalist gave you. Let's say, you know, you don't fill up the whole page. So you've got 2A and 2B. You could totally do that, 2A, B, C, and D. So you can do a lot in this little notebook a lot. There is a lot more room. It, it's very deceiving. The other thing I think you could do is keep track of certain things on the months because there are that there's quite a bit of room to write if you write small. I sometimes struggle with that and I'll get a pen that has a finer nib so that I can write smaller. If it's a broader tip, it writes thick and you can't get as many letters into the tiny boxes. Tiny boxes. So you could put blood pressure in here. You could do a diagonal and then put morning and evening. You could do, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have to do 
like medications are different in the morning or afternoon, maybe you split this up into AM and PM and you've got, you know, your medications that you give in the morning, medications that you do in the evening. You could also keep track of like food. If you wanted to keep track of food that way, you could do your macros. I know we're getting sidetracked from the original, but I think looking at the weeks and seeing that it's such a compact little book, it fits perfectly in a bag. It's very, very portable and I think utilized and, you know, creatively looking at all of the space that is available, I think it would work to do that kind of tracking and have like doctor's notes and stuff put together in here. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to try this. Also, I was going to let you know, if you don't have a week's you can absolutely use a notebook. You can use whatever whatever you have on hand. I specifically wanted to show the weeks because that was the question that was asked, how to use the weeks for X, Y, and Z. So I wanted to show you that. If you're into cutting down composition notebooks, you could cut down a composition notebook into this size and absolutely use it this way as well. So there's a few options. Let me know down below if this has intrigued you or made you think, oh, I have an old planner that I need to grab because yes, I could use that for X, Y, or Z. Let me know what you think of this. I will talk to you down in the comments. Uh, oh, there goes my other book. I will, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you down in the comments. I'll see you soon. I love you. <laughs> Bye.